Welcome back everyone, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. So have you ever had to wait two years to get a package? Well I did and here it is right here. Inside this box I hope is a Solo Shot 3. Now I have to say I ordered this two years ago, November 26th, wait for it, 2015. Anyone remember 2015? 2015. 2015? Maybe we're in the future. Well, back then, I thought six months later, I'd be having this experience. So this is super long overdue, but it's a monumental day nonetheless. What we're going to do is we're going to open this up. We're going to kind of check out what's inside. Then we'll do a once over. Then my plan is to take it outside and see how it performs. So let's get into it. This part never gets old. It's like you never grow out of the experience of opening a box. Christmas Day! There it is, guys. Feast your eyes on that. Oh, try to do better. And look, they gave me a little card. Thank you for hanging in there with us. Uh, that's kind of an understatement. Someone's got to have a pretty sore hand from writing all those letters to folks. So there it is. Now it's time to break the seal. Seems like it had a bumpy ride here. Okay. It'd be funny if it was a pair of shoes. Oh. Wrong way. That's gonna work then. All right, what do we got here? So, I guess it should look like something like that. And let me turn it around so you can see it here. You've got this is an Optic 25, there is a, a Optic 65, I think. This is a smaller lens, so it won't be able to zoom as far, but for me, it's gonna be perfectly fine. There's the lens, that looks super cool. Here's the tag. This is what you have to wear on yourself so that the camera can track you. This is waterproof and supposedly can go about 2,000 feet away from the camera. Here's the base, I'm all on by the base, by the base. No construction looks really good. Um, I did read some of the uh, quick start guides, so I sort of have an idea. This goes right in here to the charge. I don't know if you can see that, but that's how you charge it, and it requires a USB. Let's go through here. This is, what do we got here? This is the armband for the tag then they have some sort of tool to attach the base of the camera to a tripod and then they have this guy which looks like a pack of gum but it's a flip book let's see how it goes ah very good i just read every language all right I think that's what's inside. Now it's time to uh, get things charged. The Solo Shot 3 is available in two different models. This is the Optic 25 right here. It's got a lens that's capable of 25x zoom and can shoot in 1080. This sells for $700. The other model is the Optic 65. It's got a 65x zoom lens so it's longer and can shoot in 4K and that sells for $900. Now, the only difference on this robotic camera between those two different models is the actual camera piece up top, not the motor that controls the movement of the camera below. The Solo Shot 3 has a bunch of button slots and ports on it. I'm gonna go over some of them with you. Take some time to familiarize yourself with this camera, it's pretty complicated. So let's start up top. First of all, you have the SD slot. It's a micro SD, it just fits right in there. To get the footage off, you actually have to remove that and put that into your PC. Right here, you have a button to remove uh, the lens, and it just slots right back on here. Right here, you have a micro or a mini HDMI port, which is good, so this camera can output right to that. Up front here, you have a high-intensity LED port that will show you when the camera's tracking you and recording you. You have a microphone port. Here's the microphone hole. Um, here's where the tag goes. It just sits right in the bottom here. I'm not even really comfortable removing that, installing that. But to charge the tag, you just put it in down there below. Really easy. As I said, this is kind of, oh, upside down. 
you just seat it in like that and as you charge it which you do right from this port down here there's a USB A and a USB port so you just plug that in it will charge the base and charge the tag and of course you have the adapter to go onto your tripod so that's kind of um, all the buttons on this thing let's turn it on the one button that's really important and I didn't mention it yet is the power button it's located right here if you push that, you go to this interface. Now, this lets you select the Wi-Fi network you wanna to connect to. So far, the interface looks good. I just wanna mention that it's touchscreen and it looks kinda of slick at this point. I'm not gonna bore you with the setup, but that's how it's done. I've got my Solo Shot 3 outside now for the first time. There were some technical problems. I just did an update and I think it might've resolved the problem. I've got my tag over there on the ground. Hopefully it's connecting to a satellite. This needs to connect to a satellite. Let's power it on for the first time. So to power it on, you hit this guy right here. It's the track button. Hit this guy right here. Okay, once you get it connected, it will ask you what kind of terrain you've got, water, field, terrain, or flight. We're gonna go here with field. So you hit continue, calibration required. Here we go. Calibration time. So it's gotta be level on your tripod and it will start calibrating. It's at 5%. You'll probably see it do some movements. We like to call this the robot dance. So it does that for a few minutes. While it's doing that, you're supposed to take your tag, which I've got right here. And it looks like it's connected. This is my tag, it's powered on. I'm gonna take that to the other side over here. You need to be about 10 feet away from the camera when it's getting calibrated. So over here, and once it goes through this process, which is about a minute, you gotta walk back and forth a few times just so that it can center you in the field of vision. So once you give the Solo Shot 3 about a minute to two minutes, it'll finally start tracking you. You can see I've got the tag in my hand right here, and hopefully, once you get away from the camera a little bit, you'll see that it will follow me. All right, so I'm gonna put the armband on which holds the tag right on your arm, and we're gonna play a little tennis. remote control car. I got the tag right on top. The camera's there. Let's see if it can track the car. done all right I have to say I've had a blast playing with this solo shot 3 I've used it for about four hours now so I have a kind of good feel of how things work and how it's supposed to work now overall I'd have to say this thing is super cool it gives so many options uh, on how to record yourself or your family or friends uh, that's not to say though it hasn't had some flaws I had an issue today where the tag wouldn't connect to the base I did a firmware upgrade, resolved the problem. And that's really good news. That means SoloShot is trying to push out software to fix any bugs with this camera. And hopefully they'll continue to do that. And this camera will just get better and better with time. Now the big question, would it be worthwhile to plunk $700 down for the Optic 25 or 900 down for the Optic 65? And I'd have to say at this point, my answer is that's yet to be seen. I think for $700, it's definitely a, an option. 
Um, I think the lens in this camera is really good and that's probably why you're paying such a dear price for this camera. If you have a lot of money hanging around and you don't know what to do with it, this would be a great buy. If you're kind of, uh, life is a little lean for you right now, I'm not sure that uh, shelling out $700 makes sense for everyone. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, definitely hit the like, and I'll see you guys around real soon.